um, there's going to be a lot of downward pressure on the economy and on economic activity. And it's extremely difficult to have growth in that, in that context. But, um, and I think one of the problems is, one of the things that we didn't get a chance to do in the papers was the suggestion that, you know, the Bank of England is trying to have it both ways. The one uh, they're trying to go for, uh, they want growth. But on the other hand, everything they're doing puts downward pressure on economic activity. Uh, I don't have as much confidence, perhaps, in this governor uh, as I do in some of the ones that uh, I used to work no, with. No, a lot of people are complaining about yes, it. Yes, Andrew they? Bailey. I think he, he was one of those who happened to be there because he was the sort of the last chap left on the bench. I mean, I wish him well because it's not in anybody's interest that there is a mess here. But the problem is a lot of the politics in this country actually is, works against trying to sort all this out because... Inevitably, if you say to somebody the way prices are going up, you know, I do the food shopping in our household, I'm quite shocked. The mm. price of ordinary basic food. Yeah, cooking oil, bread. Yes, it's, 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 it's very ridiculous. Noticeable, isn't it? But Pasta. if people then go for, you know, 10, 15% pay increases, that becomes impossible. And, you know, I think it was a Neuron Bevan of all people who said, why look in the crystal ball when you can read the book? We know what happened because in the days of Harold Wilson, uh, they did actually um, uh, succumb to a lot of the pressures to compensate people for inflation by huge pay rises. And inflation touched, what, 27, 28 percent? Crumbs. Yeah. So there, but you see, the the, what is very hard to swallow and what is going to be difficult politically in all of this is that it is going to, there is no way of avoiding the pain and the pain is going to be felt the most by those who are already worse off. That's right. And, and it's very difficult for politicians who, you know, a politician needs some credibility. When John Major said uh, there's no gain without pain, people, I think, gave him the benefit of the doubt. This lot, they're not going to give them the benefit of the doubt. They really are not. And this is why so much of what has to be done, the politicians trying to do it do not have the credibility to get it through, because people will assume it's a, it's a conspiracy against their standards of living. It isn't something that could, has to be done for the benefit of the whole country. When